today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that has cat hair on my nose. That is trying to be a long no by and today it's the third part in my first Halloween week and it is October, it's Halloween month. I love dark grungy looks so I just wanted to do Halloween week and today I am using the Arcana palette from Shroud. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes I have in my collection. It's such a cool grungy palette. The shimmers are amazing. I love them. And yeah, I'm going to do a look with this. So I guess I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. And I don't know if you see any difference in my background, but I am trying to have it a little bit lighter in my background because it feels like I'm disappearing a little bit in it with my black clothes but I don't know I have just a lamp behind me <laughs> I do not know so okay so for this look I'm using the Arcana palette and it wasn't that long time ago since I did free looks one palette with this so I am a little bit like I don't know what to do what do I know yeah, I think I do know. I don't think I'm going to use that many colors. Um, I want to do two shimmers on my lip. Lip lids. Going to do two shimmers on my lips because I just love the shimmers in this palette. So I think I actually will take this one and this one on my lid. They are looking amazing together and I hope this will look good. But I will start with... So I don't know if I want to take this one or this one in my crease, but I think I'm going to take this one and maybe deepen it down. I will start with this one. And as I said, it wasn't that long ago since I did free looks one palette with this one, and I do really love this palette. I think that is so cool. It's like the most dark and most awesome palette I do own and I think that Shroud they do really good matte shadows but it is really the shimmer shades that are amazing okay should I concentrate on what I'm doing oh I don't think so and I had to look back like the looks I did in my free looks one palette so I don't do the same look again but yeah I guess I could do the same look, but what's the fun in that? I think this palette is kind of unique in my collection because it is so deep. Like, this is one of the lightest shades. And it's also, like... No black in it, but it is really, really deep either way, and I love that. I do have to admit that... I don't mind black in palettes. I did before, but now I I don't. And I don't think it's missing a black actually. Because I think the other colors I think it wouldn't be that fun if it is if it would be a black in this palette and I'm so sorry for my speaking ability. I think that this might is enough or do I want to go in with maybe I should take relic this one and deepen it down I just need to a color swift my brush a little bit and like I, I do really need to wash my brushes I I do not know why it is so hard for me to do it maybe because it takes such a long time it's like the most boring thing to wash your brushes I think okay I'm going in with relic and are you doing something special for Halloween I am not I am not like uh, in Sweden like Halloween isn't such a big thing I think we are just using it as an excuse to go out and drink <laughs> Like this, that is like a Swedish thing. We celebrate a lot of things, but the only thing we do is going out and drink alcohol. And for me that doesn't drink alcohol, it like, I don't get the point. 
But yeah, Halloween isn't that big and I guess that some kids do go like trick or treat. It wasn't a thing when I was little, like it wasn't like even existing in Sweden at all. It has come the latest years and We don't celebrate Halloween that much in Sweden. We do like this. Okay, I'm going to take this a little bit out here uh, with another brush maybe. I guess the only thing we do that is like, okay. No, we don't, where am I going with this? We don't celebrate Halloween, but we do celebrate, or celebrate, um, what is it even called? Hello's No. I don't know. In Swedish it's Alhelgona. Um, I think it's always the last... Is it always the last October when you light candles? At graves and uh, celebrating... Not celebrating, but like remembering your loved ones that have passed away. That is like the only Halloween thingy in Sweden but now yeah it's getting bigger and bigger and like stores do have Halloween decorations because people are going to have a Halloween parties so for us that doesn't drink alcohol in Sweden yeah I guess we don't celebrate and it's nothing like we're not or at least me I'm do not have any like extra days off at work or anything I know that some jobs do in Sweden but not mine Okay, I am going to take the two shimmers now, so Nocturnal, this one, and this one. Chalice? Chalice. Chalice? I have no idea. And I think that this, they are really deep, or they are deep, both of them, but I think this one is a little bit deeper than this one. So I want to go in with this in the outer part, and like maybe over this relic that I put out here and then take this the rest of my lid so I should start with nocturnal and this is one of my favorite shades this nocturnal in this palette this is really so so deep and such a cool shimmer I did do a look in my free looks one palette with this one but then I did more like a pinkish purple look I was using this one, but I I did swatch before this video and I think that this one and the goldish one goes really good together. I'm just going to put it down here. And for me it's like Shroud is my Halloween palettes because I'm going to use the It's Freaking Bats later on this week. And I just think they... Like, my aesthetic goes really good together with Shroud. And I think they do such cool eyeshadows. And, like, the theme of the palettes. I really wish that Shroud could do liquid lipsticks. And I also think they would, like, do amazing highlighters as well. But I really wish that they would do lipsticks. And especially, like, liquid lipsticks. I really do hope for that one. So now I'm going to use this one on the rest of my lid and I hope that it will look amazing. And it does, do you see this? This is like a really dirty gold shade. And I just love this shade. I think it's so, so cool. I think in my first impression with this palette, I think I used this one and the green, because green and gold is an amazing combo. I wish they never will discontinue this one. I don't know, have they discontinued any palettes? Because I think they have Creepy Cute, Divinity, Arcana, It's Freaking Bats and Halloween. Where is the Divinity still in stock? I don't know, like I am going to buy the Halloween palette next year after my no buy because I want that one. It looks amazing. I like shroud. Yeah, you see the shimmers, 
that I have on my eyes, they look amazing as well. And it's now that I wonder, have I done this look with this palette? I don't think so. Do I love it? Yes, I really do. So, okay, <laughs> I will fix my base and my brows and everything and then I will come back with the finished look with the Arcana palette and I do love this look. I don't think I can do anything to mess this up. Is anybody surprised by my lipstick choice? I guess not. For my <laughs> face I did use Ombra, Buskill from Melt and Awesome from Nabla. So many things everywhere. Um, for my waterline I did use Honey Dude from Colourpop and on my lips I did use Rapture from Lethal which is an amazing red lipstick and I do really love this look. I think it looks really really good. I do love the shimmers. Like I can't get over how the good the shimmers are in this palette and I remember one thing. <laughs> When I did uh, do my face, it's like when I did my first video this week with the Lunar Beauty Moon spell, I did a little review and the my thought was that I was going to do a little review after which is each of the palettes, but I didn't do it yesterday with the whatever palette, but at the same time it was the second or third time I used it, so maybe. I couldn't do a review, but I thought that I could do a review on this one because this I have used a lot of times and I guess that I did review in my free looks one palette, but if you didn't see this vid that video, this video, if you didn't see that video, I can do a little review about this one. First of all, like the aesthetic of this whole palette, I, maybe I should scooch. I love it so, so much. I think it looks so cool and... Yeah, somebody has shoed on mine. I think it's Ines. It's not supposed to be little teeth marks on it. Um, but I do love everything about it. And I do love that it is a mirror inside. I am that kind of person. And yeah, I love this palette. I, I like don't know what to say. But there is something special with Shroud's shimmers. They are like so creamy and I have never tried a bad shimmer from Shroud. All the shimmers I've ever tried is super super good. And the matte shades are also good. They, The shimmers are the star of this palette. But the matte shades are really good as well. The only shade that I am not like super filled in this palette is this one. I feel it looks a little bit like... If you blend it too much, it looks a little bit like dirty, but other than that, all the mattes are amazing, all the shimmers are amazing. And if you know what I like in palettes, you know what I really love in this one, is that it is a matte green and a shimmer green. And you can use this one together with this one, perfect look. You can use these two together, a perfect look. I love this in palettes. And I also think that this palette might be a little bit hard to work with because it is really like dark and grungy and maybe missing some things that a normal palette do. I don't know how to explain it, but I know that this can be a little bit of a struggle. I think it is really easy to work with, maybe because this is like the kind of looks that I love to do. I do think this is perfect to pair with other palettes and that I don't see any problems with that. Just pair everything you own. And if you want some inspiration, I can leave all the videos that I've done with this palette down in the description. If you want yeah, to have some inspiration and see what I have done with it. But I do really love it. I'm so happy that I bought it. And I definitely think that it is a really good palette. And I could buy this only for the shimmers. It's like I love the sh all of the shimmers more than I love any of the mattes in this palette. Even though I like the mattes and I think they are really good, it's the shimmers that are like amazing. If <laughs> I can't like tell you... I 
can't describe how good I think they are, but yeah, it's an amazing palette and it's fun to play with. And if you want to do more crunchy looks or more dark looks, I think that that is a good palette to buy because you're going to get something cool out of it. And that's all I have to say. And also what I love about that palette is you can like, it's really easy to layer the shadows like I did out here with the matte and then I took the shimmer over and the shimmers are also, okay, opening the palette again. Like this is the lightest shimmer. This is like really, it doesn't disappear if you blend it with maybe this one or this one, it doesn't. It still looks really good and you can still really, really see it. And I really love that. So this palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, both like formula wise and also like color story wise and yeah, the overall like the packaging and everything. The only thing I don't like is the names because I'm not sure how to pronounce all the names, but that's just me. So yeah, I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!